Hello, welcome back to Old Food in My Fridge. I have received an ultimatum from my roommates that I need to remove this old food from this refrigerator uh, by October. It's now October, so uh, I'm on borrowed time here. So I need to uh, quickly have a last look at these items in the fridge before they go away. So uh, with that, uh, please join me on another exploration of some of the things that have been sitting in my refrigerator. Well, here we go. We've got uh, five items to look at this time. Let's just arbitrarily start with this one here. This was a chip dip that was kind of an experimental thing. The dark brown areas in there are kind of sketchy, uh, but other than that, it, it uh, doesn't look too different from when I made it. And I, <laughs> I have to say, it smells a lot, but it doesn't smell really nasty. It still kind of smells like chip dip. Um, it's just really strong chip dip, and I don't want to eat it. All right, so no more chip dip. Uh, this was the eggplant last time. I'm sure it's still eggplant, plus some additives. Uh, dude. It's nasty looking, uh, but again, when I made this, this was pretty nasty looking. Uh, so I don't think it's actually changed that much. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure this one was soaked in vinegar, so maybe the vinegar has had some interesting effects in preserving or not preserving this. But, you know, there's no mold. Um, it hasn't totally liquefied or anything like that. It looks about like eggplant always looks, which is nasty and inedible. So the eggplant's not a great hit. Uh, this was ground turkey. Uh, and I love this container, so it's going to be nice to have this container back once it's empty of disgusting food. <laughs> Dude, there's still ground turkey there, but a good fraction of this container has converted to the dark side. Um, it still looks pretty meat-like, but it's definitely dark and covered in mold over in that part. And then over here, um, that's definitely fuzzy and a lot less appetizing. If you delve into the lower layers of this, let's have a look. So actually, before that, you can see on the side here, um, it looks really interesting from the side, and there's kind of some dark brown. Well, it keeps flowing away, but there is dark brown liquid on the bottom. So, here we are. This smells really interesting. Um, Poking at it certainly makes the smells come out even more. Here's, here's that dark liquidy stuff that I was talking about. You can see that. Yeah, there's a nice meaty gooey part. I don't know what the goo is. And here, the big fuzzy part almost looks like a, a spider web. We have been having some really amazing spiders in this house. Um, the biggest spider I've ever seen in person in my life. Uh, in this house, which I um, took a, a can of... I, I basically made a flamethrower to go after this thing. Um, didn't work very well, the spider disappeared. But yeah, so, uh, nasty food. Ugh. 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 Uh, cookies. The cookies didn't... The cookies last time looked exactly like the day I made them, and I think they still do. These are lemon cookies, and they still look exactly the same as the day that I made them. They're a little hard. Can't actually, ah, there we go, all right. But, you know, inside looks about like a cookie, outside looks like a cookie. Um, you know, they say you shouldn't eat anything that looks the same you know, that doesn't decompose, basically, that looks the same a year later. This is over a year since I've made these cookies. And now we have the yogurt. So, the yogurt I was skeptical of last time. 
Uh, there's been enough interesting stuff this time that even if this is a disappointment, I think the show is still worthwhile. So, also take note that the top of this is actually bulging a bit now. You can see. So, uh, something's been going on in there. And I'm curious to find out what. So let's see. Oof. Isn't yogurt wonderful? This looks like yogurt. If I had just opened this, which I did, I would not be able to distinguish this from bad yogurt. So, let's make the yogurt more interesting. I'm really gonna regret doing this to this container that I like so much. Oh, oh, uh, you just open that container again and it the, the smell is, is amazing. Egg, plant, meat, and oh, there's juice. I, I didn't even see the juice. That's pretty cool. All right, we got this. That's got its own juice. We'll add in there. Oh, ooh, strong smell. So strong. And just for good measure, we'll add that cookie that I just broke. So now the question is, what exactly does one do with this concoction? Well, bad food when combined forms Food Voltron. And Food Voltron. Pour it onto a plate. Looks. Uh, I'll just leave that one to your imagination. That stinks. Gravy. I'm gonna tell my roommates I just made the most delicious gravy out of cookies and eggplant. And so, actually, you know, I can't tell them what this is made of. That's awesome. Wow, all right. Well, there you go. That's all of the old food from my fridge. So there you have it, another episode of Old Food in My Fridge. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this has certainly been full of interesting stuff. Um, some less interesting, but some very interesting. I mean, the whole combination of all this stuff is, is pretty awesome. Uh, so uh, I don't think I'm going to be allowed to let food sit quite this long in this refrigerator since I am no longer the sole caretaker. Uh, but you know, things happen. Food gets forgotten. There are deep, dark corners of the fridge that nobody bothers looking at most of the time. So. You know, maybe there will be another of these. I can certainly hope not, but you never know. So, uh, take care. I hope your own refrigerators are doing well. And if you have anything interesting, please, you know, take a picture. Stick it online. This stuff's fascinating. Take care. <laughs>